Agriculture is massive. It's a $250 billion market in India alone. Yet it is broken. Because from farms to table, there are 10 middlemen, and our farmer gets 10 cents for every $1 that we pay. This is because in India, 86% of the farmers own less, uh, of the farmers own less than two acres land. And the market is highly fragmented. Guess what? We have the solution. Good morning, everyone. I'm Saurabh Singla, CEO and co-founder of Himikara. I'm a serial entrepreneur, and I have two exits in the past. Agriculture is my passion, and I've lost a tooth over here in Survival Week, which suggests the same. <laughs> so uh, we have developed an AI and ML platform that allows us to, uh, to assess risk and identify high-yielding crops. In, uh, for our first pilot 12 months ago, we reached out to family offices in South Asia and offered them high IRR on the returns. We took their money and invested our money in leasing out and aggregating the land. We employed the farmers, we deployed the technology, we increased the yield, and we harvested the crops, sold it across to institutional buyers, made the money, and guess what? We returned 12% to these family offices when most of the hedge funds are struggling with single-digit returns. We made 300% in revenues and increased the farmer's salary by 57%. We made it our purpose, and in the next 12 months, we did a business of $200,000. We live in a cooperative world, and hence, we are partnering and associating with most of our competition, which is fairly indirect. My co-founder, Aditya Mishra, is exiting a company in cryptocurrency and is a financial expert. We have been working on this from last two years. I've, uh, I've, we have been joined by Karthik, who joined as CTO and co-founder. We have a commitment of $300,000, and we are looking for another $700,000. We, uh, we will clock $10 million in GMV on a monthly basis by the end of 15 months. We are a Delaware C Corp company. This will be the future of agriculture. Thank you. I'm open to questions. What happens when you've already, uh, when you've automated all the farms? Then you're out of business. Uh, or, or what happens? What are you going to do? So uh, essentially, there are uh, pretty much uh, longer elements into it. Uh, what we need to do is we increase the yield, first of all, by automation. And then what we do is come up with biotechnology units wherein we produce uh, food inside the labs. And we take the food to Mars with Elon Musk. So yeah, that is that is the market that we're looking at. Uh, Thank what are some of your competitors? Because I've seen a few. Of sure. So uh, okay, our competitors uh, in India are like big companies, Reliance, uh, one of the biggest company in India, and Adani Group. But they are all traditional people with uh, 20, 30 years of experience in business, but they lack technology advantages that we bring on the table. So that's the thing. You know, uh, in the U.S., we have abundance of food uh, by industrializing our farmland. Uh, and I think the worst world world think this is great. But some of the people in the U.S. are now sort of going back to smaller batch organic farming. Do you, w where do you think the trend is going in the rest of the world? Actually, uh, by 2050, we will have 2 billion more people on the planet Earth. And we cannot grow everything organically. There will be certain element of the people who will eat organic food. But we obviously need to commercialize the farming as well. So uh, increasing the yield is essentially very important for us as we tend towards 250. Yeah. Thank you.